Welcome to electrical circuit analysis. Throughout this tutorial, I request you to keep pen and paper with you and solve the problems as we go along so that we can identify our knowledge gap and consolidate what we just learned. Now, source transformation is a tool for simplifying electrical circuits. Basically, it allows us to convert or transform a voltage source into a current source or a current source into a voltage source. Let's say in the figure A here, we have a voltage source Vs in series with the resistor R. We can transform it into a current source in parallel with, with the same resistor R as shown in figure B. Conversely, we can transform a current source Is in parallel with resistor R into a voltage source Vs with the same resistor R in series. Now the circuits shown in figure A and figure B are equivalent circuits. In other words, if you replace one of them with another in a circuit, the voltage current characteristics of the circuit does not change. So how do we perform source transformation and convert voltage sources into current sources and current sources into voltage sources? So a voltage source Vs with a resistor R in series in a circuit can be replaced with a current source IS in parallel with the same resistor R. So it is obvious that we need to determine the value of the current source IS to replace the voltage source with the current source. So IS here is equal to VS divided by R where VS is the value of the voltage source and R is the resistor that is in series with that voltage source. The opposite transformation is also possible. A current source with a resistor R in parallel in a circuit can be replaced with a voltage source Vs in series with the same resistor R. Again, it is obvious that we need to determine the value of the voltage source Vs here to replace the current source with a voltage source. The Vs here is equals to IS times R. Now there are several points we need to consider for source transformation. First we set up the, the polarity of the transformed voltage source or the uh, current direction of the transformed current source such that the current appears to come out of the positive terminal of the voltage source. So for example in the top figure here while converting this voltage source to a current source, we set the current direction of the current source upwards, which is also the same direction if current was coming out of the positive terminal of this voltage source on the left here. Another important point to consider is that to apply source transformation, the voltage source must be in series with the resistor, or the current source must be in parallel with the resistor. For any other combinations, we cannot apply source transformation. Now we might wonder why would anyone want to transform a voltage source into a current source or vice versa? The idea uh, is that we apply source transformation such that we can combine resistors in series or parallel and current sources in parallel and voltage sources in series. As we continue to combine two or more elements, we get smaller and smaller circuits, which are much easier to handle. So source transformation allows us to combine current sources in parallel or voltage sources in series and, and or resistors in series or parallel and reduces the size of the circuit so that it's much easier to handle and analyze. Now it will become more clear when we uh, solve the example problems later in this uh, tutorial. So source transformation also applies to dependent sources. Thus a dependent source, dependent voltage source in series with the resistor R can be transformed into a dependent current source in parallel with the same resistor R. And Vs again is equal to Is times R and again the value of the current source Is is equal to Vs by R. 
However, we must also note that a dependent source cannot be transformed into an independent source and vice versa. So a dependent current source must be transformed into a dependent voltage source and a dependent voltage source must be converted into a dependent current source. Also, an independent current source must be transformed into an independent voltage source and vice versa. So here is an example of source transformation. So here we'll compute uh, V naught in the circuit using source transformation. So at first we're going to try to convert this current source in parallel with this resistor into a voltage source in series with the resistor then we'll be able to combine that converted resistor and two ohm resistor into one resistor and potentially uh, reduce the size of the circuit so if we take source transformation of this 3 ampere current source and this 4 ohm resistor we end up with this 12 volt voltage source and this 4 ohm resistor and in the figure A I've also transformed this 12 volt voltage source which is in series with this 3 ohm resistor so I've transformed it into an independent current source 4 ampere which is in parallel with this 3 ohm resistor now here this 4 ohm resistor and 2 ohm resistor are in series so we can make them uh, one resistor of uh, 6 ohm and then we can take source transformation again if we do that we get the current source uh, which is 12 divided by 6 which is 2 ampere and uh, the 6 ohm resistor in parallel with that current source and the rest of the circuit is the same as figure A so after applying three source transformations we end up with two current sources in parallel this 2 ampere going down and 4 ampere going up and three resistors in parallel 6 ohm, 8 ohm and 3 ohm so what we're going to do here is that we'll combine these two current sources 2 ampere and 4 ampere into one current source and we'll also combine the 6 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistor into one resistor so now in order to determine V naught we can simply apply current divider rule and determine the current that is flowing into this resistor and just multiply that with uh, the resistor of uh, this resistance which is 8 ohm to obtain the V naught which is basically 3.2 volt so that is the, the magic of the source transformation if you will it allows us to convert a large circuit into a, a relatively very small circuit where we can apply current divider and determine the quantity that we would like to determine the source transformation basically here allowed us to combine current sources and resistors and uh, helped us to reduce the size of the circuit where we no longer need to perform nodal analysis or mesh analysis to solve the circuit. So let's look at another example. So here we need to determine dx, which is the voltage here across the 2 ohm resistor using source transformation so what we can do here we can do nodal analysis so if we ground at the bottom here at the bottom node you have we know this voltage is 6 volt we know this voltage is 18 volt so there is only one unknown voltage so nodal analysis seems to be a good option and if you perform mesh analysis you have three meshes uh, this mesh this mesh and this mesh and between this mesh and this mesh you have a super mesh so this is going to sort of make the procedure lengthy but it's still doable so this problem is also solvable using source transformation so here what I've done is that I've converted the 6 volt voltage source and 2 ohm resistor into a current source of 3 ampere in parallel with the resistor 2 ohm and I've also converted this dependent source into a dependent dependent current source here excuse me into a dependent voltage source so in, in the next step I've sort of combined these two ohm resistors 
because they're in parallel. So I've combined them into one resistor and then I've taken source transformation again of that 3 ohm resistor and the combined uh, resistor which is 1 ohm. So see we end up with one mesh here. Now the problem is much easier and much less lengthy. If, if we were to do mesh analysis in the original circuit, we would have had three meshes, this I1, I2, I3. Here we only have one mesh, and this can be solved by uh, taking KVL of the outer, outer loop and also KV, taking KVL in the loop of 3 volt, 1 ohm, and Vx. So once we do that, we solve this equation and get Vs equals to 7.5. So in this manner, source transformation allowed source transformation easily helps us to uh, discover resistors and voltage sources in series, or resistors and current sources in parallel, so that we can combine them, reduce the size of the circuit, and get a more manageable circuit. So I'd like to request you to pause this video and try to solve this problem, so that we can consolidate what we've just learned and also identify our potential knowledge gaps. So please pause this video and try to solve this problem. So here we have to reduce the circuit to a voltage source in series with a single resistor using source transformation. So what we do here is that we find this voltage source which is in series with this resistor and there's another voltage source in series with another resistor. So we take, we convert these two voltage sources into current sources by taking source transformation twice. So we end up with this circuit where you have three current sources in parallel, this current source, this current source, and this current source, and three resistors in parallel. This resistor, this resistor, and this resistor. Once you combine them, so you get uh, you have 3 ampere going up, 0.6 ampere going up, and 0.4 ampere going up, so you have in total 4 ampere going up. And if you combine these resistors, you get like 5.7 ohm. So in the next step, we just draw the circuit. Basically, we have from here to here, we have combined the three current sources, and we have combined the two resistors, and replaced with the equivalent current source and the equivalent resistor. Now, we were told to reduce the circuit to a single voltage source in series with a single resistor, which means we have to take source transformation again. Once we do that, we end up with this voltage source and this resistor in series. So we can see that such a l fairly large network has been reduced to simply two elements using source transformation. So in this manner, source transformation allows us to combined resistors and current sources in parallel so that we can get a reduced and more manageable circuit. So thank you for your time and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section. Uh, thank you.